welcome to the video tutorial of Shopify social e-commerce app. In this video tutorial, we will learn to install and operate so Shopify social e-commerce app. So let's get started. Firstly, we have to visit apps.shopify.com where we are currently. And in the search tab, we have to type the name of app, which is so social e-commerce app. The moment you will type social e-commerce, you will find it in the option. You just have to select it and click on the get button to get the app. The Shopify social e-commerce app allows your user to create a social profile, share their thoughts, follow and unfollow the other users, posts like unlike the products and lots more. So to install it, we have to click on this get button. The moment you will click on this get button, you have to enter your Shopify store URL here and click on the login button to proceed. Now after clicking on the login button and proceeding with the installation by accepting the payment, you will be landed onto this page of your store, which is the home page of Shopify social e-commerce app. Here you can see that the app is divided into three parts. Configuration, social profile and configure your front end. You can also refer to the FAQ section for the general FAQs given by us for your reference. Also, please note that this app comes with a free trial period of three days. So let's get started. Firstly, we will go to the configuration. Clicking on which, as you can see that the configuration section of the app is divided into different sections. Uh, like general configuration, social configuration, label design and mail configuration. So let's get started one by one. Firstly, we will go into the general configuration and as you can see that uh, in here your domain name needs to be entered and the domain name will be your Shopify store URL. Then comes the business email on which you will receive all your email and then you have to upload your shop logo which needs to be of the dimension 197 into 52 and its size must be less than 15 MB and you have to click on the save to save this general configuration. Moving on in the social configuration there are two switches given automatic account approval and create social profile for new customer you can enable disable these settings in case you do not want to give the automatic account approval to the customers who log in and make their account on your e-commerce store so you can just disable it and save it and vice versa also create social profile for new customers so all those customers who are logging in as a new customer or first time customers at your e-commerce store do you want automatically for them to be created a social profile or not likewise you can enable disable it now moving on to the label configuration all the labels for the front end like make your social profile page and make your own social profile description these text on the buttons you can change save it here as there are a lot of uh, buttons on the front end and likewise you can edit each label as per your requirement. Now moving on to the design section. Here you can change the theme color of whatever theme color you want it to. Also in case you want to reset it to the original one how it was you can just click on the reset button and it will be restored. Now coming on to the mail configuration, in the mail configuration clicking on these three dots there are two events on which the mail will be sent. One is the account activation and the other is account block. So for example this mail which you are seeing here is for account activation. In case you want to edit the account block email, you have to click on that and that configuration will open in front of you. So as you can see that there is this status button given. You can enable or disable the status of email. Once disabled on that event the mail will not be sent and you can edit from here whatever you like and then click on the save button and you can also send a test mail to test if it is working properly Let's move forward for the social profile section this section will display the list of customers customer id name number and number of followers following and status of the customer and you can view the details of customer and can also enable disable any customer from the lists. 
So as you can see that there are these three customers given number of followers zero following zero and had it been one two or three accordingly you would have been seeing it from here the status of all of them are active now uh, in case you want to put a filter of all of those who are inactive you can just click here and all those who are inactive will be getting displayed here So since no one is inactive currently, we are not viewing any data. I will again set it to active and will click on the filter button to filter all those who are active. And you can see the three active ones. Now I as an admin can enable disable any of my customers profile anytime I want. I can view the profile or the details of the profile from this section by clicking on the view button. I can view their cover pic. I can uh, view their name, email address, and number of followers, followings, and the post. And I can also view the post liked product, number of purchased products, what was the price of those purchased products, time and date, and the followers, followings, and the social sites. Admin can do a lot from uh, its back end for the customer. Now, now moving on to the configuration section of the app which is the configure front end you need to configure your theme to make this app work you have to copy these codes respectively uh, for example copy the below given code into the customer slash account dot liquid file and the product dot liquid snippet and uh, product loop dot liquid snippet and also you have to go to the online store section select the navigation click on the edit menu and then as here you can see that uh, it is already added as a social feed but in case had it not been added you have to click on the edit menu and then uh, name this page whatever you want to and select from the drop down section as page and select this page to be a social feed which is be predefined and then click on the save menu item so we will go back to the app and uh, This is how the app gets configured. So that was all from the back end of the Shopify social e-commerce app. So let's view the front end of the app, how the customer's profile will look like. So we are here. As you can see that we have created uh, the social feed page, which is visible here. This is just a dummy store. As you can see that nothing has been properly configured here in terms of product. So clicking on the social feed page, all your existing customers profile will be visible. For example, I am as a customer visiting your page and will click on the social feed. So I can view the uh, existing customers who have created their profile. I can click on it. And the moment I will click on it, I will be redirected to another tab wherein I can see the limited information about that particular user for example the status and every these all things can be configured and this is how the page will look a uh, banner the image of the customer the email id etc now to log in you have the customer will have to log in from here for example being a new customer i would like to create an account i will just create the account from here uh, entering the first name as Temu, the email address and the password. We'll click on the create button. The moment I will click on the create button, I'll be redirected to this my account page where I can see the order history that no account, no order has been placed and this uh, banner where it will be showing that make my profile. The moment I will click on make my profile button, I'll be popped up with this uh, window wherein I have to enter the information required like uh, display name, date of birth and 
So I will just write my display name as demo for date of birth one. Click on the gender and write anything about you, whatever you want. And then click on the submit button. The moment you will click on the submit button, these information will be getting saved and your profile has been created. Now, uh, as you can see that uh, we have edited the text of this button as my profile. So I will just click here, clicking on which I will be landed on to this uh, section from where I can upload my image, I can upload the um, banner image, I can configure my account and I can write the status for example hello all and we'll click on update. The moment I will click on update, the status is updated here. Now this status can be edited or deleted from here. Uh, it can be liked by me as well as the other users who see and it can be shared also. The number of comments, number of likes and number of shares will be viewed here and the comment on this particular status can be viewed from here. So this is how this uh, app basically works. For example, my date of birth and uh, date of creation of account is visible here. My address location is not uh, available, so it is showing not available. Number of followers, followings and purchase product sections are these. Since I have newly created the account, so none of these are available. And clicking on the configure account, I will be landed on to this page where I, ca I as customer can enable disable this follow button on public and social feeds then uh, this uh, show followers on public page show followings on public page whether you want these information to be public or not you can enable disable it accordingly and then you as customer can uh, change select choose your name, your email, your date of birth, location, your social profile on uh, other social platforms and about yourself. Then now once you are logged in and you will click on the social feed button. Here in this section now you are getting to see these follow buttons which were not available when you were not logged in. So now from here you can follow anyone you want to. For example, follow this user, follow this and unfollow from here as well. You do not need to even view the full profile also to follow them. You can just follow it from here as well. But the moment you will log out, And now you will click again on the social feed button. Then that follow button will not be there for the user who is not logged in as a customer. He can only view the profiles, but he cannot follow them. So that was all about the app. In case of any related queries or question, you can always write us at support at the rate or sales at the rate and we'll be very happy to help you. Thank you so much.